All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about who to hire, how to hire, when to hire, and all of that stuff so you can scale your coaching business to that next level. Now, this will apply to pretty much any kind of business because the principles are absolutely universal, but I'm gonna apply it over here to kind of where it fits in in the Summit Scaling Funnel and how to actually implement this tactically so you can make more money and work much less and have killers on your team that do an incredible job. So let's get into it. My name is Jeremy Pogue. I help online coaches scale with ads and team members. And my company is called Summit Scale, or at least my program is called Summit Scale. And I help online coaches between like five and 30K a month, give or take. Um, some exceptions as well, of course. But uh, nonetheless, if that's you, book a call down below if this video adds value to you and you want to work with me hands on to build this all out for you. So let's get cracking. So this is a concept here, the replacement ladder that I got from my mentor and coach, his new book. Um, it's called Buy Back Your Time, Dan Martell. And I was on a hike with him yesterday and went to a studio and hung out with his whole team and everything like that for a little bit, um, which is pretty cool. And it really got me thinking and expanded my mind. And I wanted to share this with you as well, because this has impacted my life and my business big time. So I get asked all the time, Jeremy, who do I hire? When do I hire them? How do I know when I'm ready to hire them? How do I have like all that stuff, right? Because when like most people with a coaching business, they, a lot of them haven't had like a real business before and they don't know what to do, who to hire. Like they don't know anything about the hiring and, and scaling process, right? Which is totally normal because it's something you've never done before. So hopefully in this video, you're going to get a lot of value and I'm going to share kind of my lessons and insights that I've been kind of dealing with over the last few months and how I've been applying that and what I've been working on. So um, let's get into it. So basically, um, Oh, this should not say admin. This There we go. So basically, um, here's what you hire. Here's the feeling, how to know, kind of the identifier for kind of like what stage you're at and where you should go. And then here's kind of what the uh, what that person is um, in charge of, right? And kind of what to, to give to them. So that said, um, I will be using this and then referring to the Summit Scaling Funnel as well to show you kind of exactly when and where and how this all fits in nicely together. So let's get into it. If you haven't read Dan's book, it's incredible. Um, it's helped me a lot. So it's called Buy Back Your Time again. So anyways, let's go. So you start down here. It's, it's a ladder. So we're climbing to the top, right? And the first thing that you want to do is buy back your time by hiring some sort of admin rule. Now, what this looks like in most businesses is like an executive assistant who manages your emails and kind of like is like the filter, kind of like a receptionist almost is the filter. So then you don't have to spend your time on in your emails and all that stuff, right? They manage your calendar, tell you what to do, when, all that kind of stuff, right? So they're basically the CEO of your inbox and the CEO of your calendar and they run everything. So for most businesses, that's pretty straightforward. For ours, I've been having a hard time figuring out what the hell I need an executive assistant for, right? And then I kind of realized, oh, okay, well, if they're in charge of the inbox, and the calendar, and if I'm feeling stuck, then basically to get unstuck, well, I need more calls in the calendar and then I'll be able to close more, right? So from there, okay, who who manages the inbox? And for most people, it's email, but like it's 2024, I, I don't really get any emails. Um, so all the emails I get are just Instagram DMs. So what this means in English is this admin role is basically your appointment setter. Right, right here. So this, hopefully you can see it. I'll zoom in a little bit for you, but appointment setter, right? So they're booking, they're running your Instagram DMs, they're in your DMs and they're just like assuming, um, like if you're in my program, we're blasting ads to get inbound leads coming who are qualified with money and urgency and painful problem. Uh, every single day they're coming inbound to you. And then from there, your appointment setter hits them up, starts a conversation with them and then gets them onto a call with you. So then you're fully removed and you don't have to do anything, which is amazing. You show up to the calls, close them, because your middle funnel is absolutely lethal because we built out a nasty video sales letter and your content does a lot of the pre-selling for you because you've built it in a way um, that destroys objections, limited beliefs and all that stuff. So anyways, there's that. So the first, basically the first hire for me um, was admin role. I mean, technically my first hire was an editor for like my reels and stuff like that and YouTube um, because that's also just like kind of low income skills and stuff like that, low in, like low leverage activities. So that was kind of the first thing I hired and then Setter runs the inbox and calendars. So because I was feeling stuck in the trenches, 
editing all my videos, doing all the SEO, the thumbnails, the titles, and then also replying to everybody on, on Instagram, starting conversations with all the new leads that are coming through every day, which is like honestly kind of too many for me to keep up with right now. Or like, yeah, definitely right now. Um, so I was feeling stuck. I heard those roles and I'm like, all right, now we're laughing, right? And then things really start to crank. And I'm, I bought back a lot of my time. Now I don't really have, like I don't have to spend time in Instagram. I don't have to spend time doing any post-production stuff. I can just record videos like this, drop it in a Google Drive folder, and then I don't have to think about it ever again. It just, it just gets done, right? So that's incredible. It's amazing. Next, this one I've been getting hung up with a lot, to be completely honest with you because this is like the one I'm most afraid of letting go. There's like, there's kind of like two main things here that I'm like really afraid to let go of. So it's definitely limiting belief and it's it's my challenge as a leader right now uh, to get to that next level, right? New levels, new devils is kind of the devil I've been facing is starting to pull back from delivery and outsource and delegate it. So my program, like the, the course itself is absolutely disgusting. It's just like so streamlined. I've rebuilt it three times in the last year. So it's very good. And each time I get rid of stuff, I get rid of the fluff and I 80, 20 it. And it's just like, it's so sequential. Like I probably don't even need coaching and my clients would still crush it. But like, if I, like, here's my uh, Slack channel. This is my community. To give you a bit of an insight. So this is just today. It's, it's 9.30 AM for me right now on Wednesday, January 31st. So by the time you're watching this video, it'll probably be next week. But, um, so I got this week all scheduled out. But anyways, like Adrian is a fitness coach, 2200 paid in full, uh, Michael, he does uh, credit repair. He's got a 5K PIF, right? Um, so thankful for the program already. Good energy. But anyways, that's awesome. Um, and Neil's career orientation coach. Um, there's us in Croatia in a castle. And uh, anyways, he got a paid in full this morning. Juan's going to get those cooking, right? Oscar, 4K today, or this is yesterday, right? And then Eric, he just signed up last week, 1500 PIF. Andrew, he's a fitness coach, did 120K this month, 4X ROAS, which is dope. Um, and then Nick just got back from Mexico, 1700. Uh, he's a fitness coach. He's actually hosting tomorrow's group coaching call for my clients, teaching everyone how he did literally 30K in his first three weeks running ads with a setter. So that would be really, really valuable. And um, all my clients will have access to the recording and stuff too after. Adrian, 3000 fitness coaching client. Um, Hayden, 55, 5,800. He just uh, hit 55K for the month, right? Salonay is a dating coach, 3,500 PIF yesterday. Um, Augusto, 7K. Nick, he's uh, he's crushing it. Chris, 6,800. And then, uh, yeah. So as you can see, like Bobby, fitness coach, 1,500. He just signed up a couple weeks ago. Adrian, 3,200. Chris, he had, he had two 6,800 clients on uh, monday still um but anyways like sergio 2500 right clients are crushing it personal wins boom so as you can see oh yeah danielle um she's like i think she's like a thousand bucks away from like hitting her first 50k month she did 20k last month for context um before she joined which is crazy she joined at the start of the month and she went from 20 to nearly 50 but anyways as you can see wins channel the community the clients it's insane and if you didn't notice there's 123 of us in here. It's probably like 115, 110 clients. Um, and there's programs out there with five times more clients with five times fewer client wins. So that's telling me like I've got something really good going on. The program works, the process works, the system works. It's just disgusting, right? It's foolproof at this point. But I'm also afraid to pull back because I'm like, well, like if, if I'm not involved as much, then the client success rate's gonna go down, right? So that's kind of one thing that I've been kind of struggling with, but that's definitely my next step, right? So I've kind of been stalled a little bit while I'm building that out, right? I've got a couple of client success managers on the team right now and building out client success systems that were the exact same ones built for Mosey's biggest portfolio company as well. And they got AI integrated. It's gonna be absolutely disgusting. So. Over the next few weeks, I should have this pretty well dialed in, which is going to be sweet. And then that'll free up a lot of my time. Um, marketing, I just love marketing campaigns. Try, like That's what I want to do all day, marketing and leadership. Um, sales, this is like one of the last things you should give up because like your closing rate is going to be 
um, higher than anybody else's because you're the most bought in. You understand your process and your product the most, right? And it's it generates you a lot of cash. But at, at like after a certain point, when you get to a certain point, you're booking like consistent calls every single day. Then we should hire a sales rep, right? Because then like it's not really worth you hopping on a Zoom call with somebody that, or like no shows and it just kind of throws you off. And you're so stuck in the trenches where you can't. Um, you can't really work like think creatively and, and really pull back and step back. So we got the setter, the closer, editor, client success manager, right? So setter, editor, this CSM, client success manager, they're in charge of onboarding support, right? Coaching, stuff like that. Marketing, um, this is me. For most of you guys watching this, you probably have a personal brand. So like you are the brand. So you're kind of like, I'd almost put marketing like above sales to be honest with you, um, just for coaching. I'd probably switch the order of these because it's important that uh, as a personal brand, you keep building a personal brand, making content and stuff like that, right? Because a lot of times with coaching, people buy into you almost more than like they want proximity to you more so than like the transformation sometimes. So both are important. Um, but sales, right? Take sales calls, follow up and really just dial things in there. So um, yeah, and then of course leadership. Once you get to like high seven figures, then you're, good to start kind of like delegating putting a maybe a high seven figures i don't know i haven't gotten there yet so i don't really know so i don't want to tell you what i don't know um not uh not too many other coaches out there would say that they're all full of shit but anyways especially those organic marketing coaches who tell you they'll they'll help you scale and then teach you organic marketing <laughs> don't get me started on that guys but anyways um so yeah that's that's pretty much like the replacement ladder um from Dan and this has helped me a ton and I, I've seen a lot of like like obviously as you've seen this video I've kind of related this to the scaling funnel as well so there's a lot of carryover and crossover here as well um but like if you're just looking at this you're like okay Jeremy like yeah we can hire an editor setter closer CSM but like when right so this is pretty much it so if you're stuck hire a an editor and a, a setter if you're stalled so that like you're not necessarily stuck, but you feel like you're just kind of spinning your tires a little bit and you're just so entrenched and stuck, well, I guess stuck, yeah, stalled, but like you're stuck in the trenches, on client calls all day, coaching, tons of one-on-ones, all that stuff. You're doing all the onboarding calls, all the coaching calls, all the Slack messages, everything like that. Well, you don't really have any room to breathe. You don't have any room to think creatively, to work on the business because you're so stuck in it. Right. And I remember watching this video from Cole Gordon a few months back where he was talking about it, like scaling his company to eight figures. And he said when he hit his first 50K month, that's when he hired the client success manager and completely removed himself from delivery. My jaw hit the floor. I was like, bro, my, I hit, I literally scaled to like over 200K a month with literally me and a setter. That was it. And I was doing everything. I was doing delivery, I was doing marketing, I was doing sales, I was doing leadership. And I was even doing a lot of admin stuff too, right? The setter was running the, the inbox, which is great, but uh, all the other admin stuff too. But yeah, it was, I was like, holy smokes. Cause I just had this limited belief that I had to be like stuck in the delivery. But um, what's going to help with that is I just launched a mastermind, it's 25K and it's for clients that are kind of doing like at least 30K a month. So everyone in there is like right now, everyone in there is kind of doing like minimum like 50K a month to like 250k a month so it's just a high level conversation stuff like that and so they just have a lot more proximity and access to me um well kind of about the same some of the scale i still am very very involved but nonetheless um like moving forward i'm going to start to pull back a little bit because i just have to and like if people want that proximity and that access to me well as things go it's not going to be as good of a use of my time because then I can just train somebody up who can kind of replace me for that, which I have a couple absolute weapons on the team right now um, to be able to do that. So that's super cool. Like one of them led a couple seven figure sales teams and um, for coaching businesses and basically ran the whole programs too, which is cool. And then the other one, peak performance coach is just a weapon. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool to see that. And I'm excited to plug them into the system and then start to pull back a little bit. But anyways, so long story short, hopefully this will give you a little bit of insight into kind of who to hire, why I should hire them, how to hire them, when, um, and then 
yeah so if you're stuck hire admin role if you're stalled get out of delivery if there's friction and like you're not sure why things aren't growing and you've you've got all this stuff out then it's probably like a marketing problem so you need to run ads and then um when you're feeling freedom well maybe not as i think that comes after right like when you hire a sales rep then you start to remove yourself from sales calls then you start to feel free you got your sales team is cranking and then when you're just focused on leadership and leading the teams you got somebody running the sales team the marketing team the delivery team the admin all that stuff then you're just in flow state you're just high level strategy outcomes and to me that's like bliss right there right i feel like i've been in the trenches for so many years now it feels and i'm like i'm, I'm ready to go so um it's going to be really cool and i can make the program a lot better and really just work to improve a whole bunch of that kind of stuff and grow the business launch new funnels new ads campaigns all that stuff so yeah but anyways so there's that and then back to the summit scaling funnel so like pretty much what i help my clients with is like within the first couple of days we got ads scripted like 48 hours after you pay me money then we hop in a one-on-one -on -one call right now and help you script out your ads. Again, that's probably going to change in the near future as I start to pull back and train my team to do that. Um, so I can add a lot more leverage and whatnot. But right now I'm still in there. Honestly, I kind of just like it. And it's a lot of fun. I get to meet my, my clients too and develop a good relationship with them that way. So, um, but I can't do that forever. And I understand that. And then from there, we pretty much like the end of week one slash going into week two, it's all about video sales letters, content, sales assets that do all the pre-selling. Cause now we got the leads, they're qualified, they got money and a painful problem and the urgency. And now we got to convert them. So that's what we focus on here, get them on the calls, making an offer, boom, join the program. And then I've got insane training on how to build a wicked uh, program with the course the community, the coaching calls, and just an incredible onboarding experience too. So you can just pump out results like you see here um which are just disgusting like here's a, a weekly recap from from last week for example so i had a bunch of guys join tom hit his first hundred thousand dollar a month he doubled last month when he did 50k we started from zero just 10 months ago in april um, which is awesome danielle she doubled her business first month here going from 20 to 40 um and she she's probably gonna hit 50 today today's the last day so we're rooting for um dave locked in a few of these like hit a record month 30k in three weeks like literally a month ago we had like i've got a, an interview on my youtube channel with nick um you can check that out it just dropped like a week or two ago um where like a month before he had like a thousand bucks in his bank which is crazy um chris close three clients to 1600 signed like i showed you earlier he signed two more mario 3500 nils three more clients alberto 40k a month payton 40k a month. he actually crossed 50 now this week but like jacob he just launched ads first week and made four grand, which is sick. He helps people make money flying drones. Um, Nick, he had a new record, 23K a month. Um, he doubled from, I think, like every month he's been in business, he's just been doubling, which is sick. Um, a couple months ago, he was at like 5K, then he did 10K, and then he did 20. And yeah, so anyways, that's sweet. Um, but yeah, 5,500. Like, as you guys can see, it's like disgusting. Eric, he was in my base camp program when I uh, had a program for beginners. I don't anymore, fortunately, right now. Um, but, uh, his first, uh, 10 K week, just from everything that I taught him in there. And then he joined, uh, summit scale, which is dope. But as you can see, like these are just insane. And, and my setter, unfortunately we had to part ways. Um, Sergio, if you're watching this, bro, I love you. You're amazing. Um, I helped him start a new offer teaching people how to become setters. So we can plug them into my client's businesses. Um, and then he did like 15 K in the last couple of weeks. So he made too much money. And I was like, bro, I kind of kicked him out of the nest. I was like, bro, like, like I, I think you need to take that scary leap, go all in with what you're doing and what you're called to do. So anyways, there's that. But um, yeah, as you can see, like if you want this, like a system that just prints client results and the community is just absolutely disgusting, um, you got to really nail this down too, right? And then in order to remove yourself from onboarding support, you got to have the right systems and stuff like that. So that's what I'm building. That's what I help uh, my mastermind clients with right now as well. So yeah. So anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully you got some value. If you did, let me know down below in the comments, like it. Um, but if you are actually a coach doing at least 5k a month and you want to implement this acquisition and fulfillment funnel into your business, 
And so you can start climbing the replacement ladder, get to the words at the top, get in flow state. Then you either book in a call down below or DM me over on Instagram at Jeremy underscore Pogue. Um, and if you're ready to go, like literally just ask me for the payment link. I'll shoot you over the payment link and DMs. We'll get you signed up. I'll get you onboarded right away. And then we'll set up a first one-on-one -on -one call where literally we'll just uh, script out your ads together and hit the ground running. And within literally the first probably like four days, depending on how soon you can get your ads recorded and edited, uh, we'll have them launch and then solve your traffic problem, get qualified leads coming through and then start building an absolute marketing machine as a, of a weapon to uh, to convert them and nurture them, warm them up, and then sign them up. So um, yeah, if you are interested, either uh, book a call down below if you need to be, if you absolutely need to talk to me, um, but uh, that's like, you gotta be ready to go. And I mean, if you are ready to go and you're ready to take action, just shoot me a DM on Instagram. We'll get you signed up in DMs and then go from there. So, um, and if you're not sold yet, go watch the main video on my YouTube channel where I literally, on my homepage, I break down the whole process and program and funnel and everything. And um, go watch my client interviews. There's a playlist here on my YouTube as well. And then watch my client story highlights, my client wins highlights um, on my Instagram stories as well, because there's just so many of them. It's disgusting at this point. So anyways, hopefully uh, you learned a lot from this video. If you did, let me know. If you're serious about doing this, you know what to do. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.